Well, we are in the car today with the big man and Mo. We're heading out to run some errands today, so we've been talking about a couple different topics, but uh, the topic that came up for today was what... Oh. <laughs> it lasts in a while. <laughs> okay, take two. topic that came up for today was what superpower would you have and why and we're going to have a discussion about it i'm going to start it out with the big man here if you could have any superpower that you wanted what would it be uh, probably self-duplication self-duplication so explain that it's essentially uh the power that multiple man of uh marvel has and where you can create pretty much sentient duplicates of yourself Pretty much a small one-man army turning into 20 well-built guys. It's pretty useful. 20 me's, and I could get all my stuff done. A lot <laughs> you could do and with 20 of you instead of one of you. Right, because you're starting out as a college student yeah. this, uh, this fall. So you could have uh, several of you doing your homework. Yeah. You, write a term paper. You, get on that discussion board. You, go to class. Pretty all right. Much. Now, what's the downside? How would that be um, a potential risk or a problem? Is there is a limit to how many you could create. It's an overload on how many uh, memories he would have and how many people he's connected to, pretty much. So, Big Man would go with uh, multiple bodies as a power. All right. So, Mo, you are the least comic book nerdy person in our family, so this is a great topic for you. If you could have a superpower... What superpower would you have and why? Super speed. All right. So, why would you want super speed in this real world that we live in? It would be pretty cool to be able to just run around and do everything in super speed instead of walking. Like, if I was to do a tour or something, I wouldn't have to, like, clean my room or something. I wouldn't have to spend 30 minutes on it. I wouldn't have to spend, like, 10 minutes on it. All right. All right. So, getting your chores done. What would be the potential problem with that, or what could go wrong? I could run into things a lot. <laughs> <laughs> right, because we said with this power, you're getting super speed, but that doesn't mean that you're getting an invulnerable body, right? You're still just as fragile and breakable uh, as any other 11-year-old uh, on the planet. So would go with super speed. So me, uh, talked about this in a previous video about dreams, which you can see in that card right there, but uh, flying is still a power that I just think would be so amazingly awesome to have. And for the real world, honestly, I could fly, yeah. right? Anywhere I wanted to go, yeah. I'd be able to fly instead of walking, or to be honest, it would destroy this YouTube channel because I wouldn't, I wouldn't drive anymore. Well, you'd be flying with a camera, and that would be awesome. But I'd have to, like, change the name to Flying Me Crazy. And that would be stupid, and Mark, nobody would watch. Come fly with me. <laughs> come fly, come fly away. That's yeah, no, I, I don't think that would happen. <laughs> Problem with being able to fly is uh, crashing, right? Because I would think that if you have that ability to fly, it's probably something that you have to think about. Yeah. And and you'd also have to learn to land yourself. You have to learn to land. Alright, so I don't know about you guys, but this conversation has made me hungry. You guys want to stop for some lunch? Sure. sure. Alright, let's go get us some Taco Bell. And we will come back in just a bit. Alright, so part two of our conversation then is similar, but a little bit uh, backwards. 
So let's say some accident happened, you know, some kind of uh, Peter Parker radioactive spider kind of thing, you know, uh, you, you get hit by a beam from something. Hammock. Right. So something happens and you get a superpower out of that accident, but it's the dumbest power you could possibly think of. Minutely changing stuff like hair color, skin color. <laughs> so, all right. So you you were you were in some radioactive accident, and you came out of it thinking I'm going to be a superhero, and all you got is like you can turn your skin blue, and your hair orange, purple, and that would be it. Pretty much. Pretty much. All right. So what would what would we call that? What would, <laughs> what would we call you? Like Crayola? Oh, Crayolar. Sorry. Uh, Mo, if you inherited a really stupid superpower that you would hate having, what would it be? When you sneeze, you turn into a worm. <laughs> <laughs> so now whenever you sneeze, you just turn into a worm. For like 20 minutes. <laughs> and then after 20 minutes, you just turn back. Like pop back in. That would be pretty stupid. Think probably what would be really annoying and what would be the dumbest possible thing is if all of a sudden my hands were like three times as big as they are. So now I'm like, I get this, think I'm going to get this great power off this accident and what ends up happening is my hands blow up and now I'm walking around with these huge oversized baseball glove mitts on the end of my hands and I can't do anything. I can't like pick up a fork. All right, well, what about you guys? What would be a superpower you would want and what would be the dumbest possible thing that could happen to you if you got into some kind of a superhero accident? Put it in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. If you're new to the channel and you're just visiting us for the first time, I invite you to please uh, use your super senses and hit that subscribe button and uh, come along on this journey with us. Thank you, big man. Thank you, emoji. Emoji. That's a joke. Well, thanks so much for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the road.